Welcome guys, Yas here from SolveProblems.com with another solve problem in electrical circuit. In our last problem, we solved the simple circuit with only dependent sources. This was the circuit. As you can see, this circuit has just dependent sources. We have a, a current, we had a current source, two current source, and two voltage sources. So today, what we're going to do, uh, we're going to solve another uh, problem, which is a little bit complicated that, that. So here we have all sorts of dependent and also independent sources. We have a dependent voltage source. We have a dependent current source over here. We have current source controlled by voltage, like this one. We have a current source controlled by current, like that one. And we have a voltage source controlled by voltage and voltage source controlled by current. So we can have four types of uh, dependent sources. We have all of them here. Okay. So we want to solve the circuit and find Vx and Iy. And also we want to determine power of sources and see which one is absorbing power, which one is supplying power. So before we start, please remember to rate this video and subscribe to my channel. Share it with your friends. Uh, I'm going to post the solution of this uh, problem in my website, sol-problems.com. Uh, and I'm going gonna, gonna to provide the link to the solution at the descriptions of the, uh, at descriptions of this video in YouTube. Check my website for more problems, and I'm going to post more videos. Uh, and as I said, please share it with your friends to support my channel. Okay, let's start with with labeling this sources let me call this one s1 this one s2 s3 s4 s5 and s6 so what do we have here like let's say let's start with this iy here this iy And we have two IY here. So if we write KCL in this node over here, we know the current which is coming to this node. So this current over here, we know that this is two amp because of this independent current source. Uh, it goes like two IY in this direction and IY in this direction. So KCL gives us let me use this KCL. If we write it over here, we can say that uh, IY plus 2IY equals just 2 amp. So from here, we can find actually I. So IY equals 2 over 3 amp. So that was kind of easy to find. And now we need to find uh, Vx. Where is Vx? Vx is the voltage across this current source. As we discussed before, voltage across the current source uh, is not necessarily zero. So I noticed that some students that they think that it should be zero, but it can be any number including zero. So here, if uh, what do we have like? Uh, we should find the loop that this voltage over there, all the voltage that uh, in that loop, we know those ones, and only this voltage is missing. In that case, we can just write KVL and determine that one. So let's look at this loop over here. See, here we have Vx, then 2Vx over here, 3 volt, and here 3 IY, 
and that's our loop like the outer loop is the loop that we only missing vx in that loop if we write kvl in that loop loop minus vs1 so from this point i'm writing the plus 2vx that's this one over here now we are at this node plus vx we pass vx and here we go through the source so watch out that this is a voltage source also the voltage depends on the uh, even though the voltage depends on the current but this is a voltage source so this is plus 3 i y we are at the same node now so zero let me get rid of this okay here vs1 we know that it's 3 minus 3 plus 3 vx plus 3 iy we know iy is 2 over 3 so 3 by 2 over 3 equals 0 so if we work on this 3 vx equals 3 minus 2 equals 1 and from here vx is 1 over 3 volt so we find also the voltage now we want to determine the uh, power of sources let's start with s1 so for s1 we have voltage of s1 it's 3 volt we need to find its current so what is the current of s1 uh, in this node over here we know that this is i s1 this is i y and this one is 2 vx so the current in this point here is 2 vx and we have vx so with kcl we can say that 2 vx plus i y minus i s1 equals 0 so i s1 equals i y which is 2 over 3 plus 2 multiply vx which is 1 over 3 so 4 over 3 amp and power of s1 so here we have uh, positive sign convention over here the current i s1 that we defined is in this direction and that's entering from the uh, positive uh, terminal of the voltage source so it's just vs1 multiply is1 and that is 3 multiply 4 by 3 4 watt so this is greater than 0 so this is absorbing power okay for s2 so we know the current passing through s2 it is 2vx also we know the we know the voltage across it the voltage across that let me remove this stuff this is same note right these two are in parallel so voltage across it is 3 volt so for s2 i s2 equals 2 vx equals 1 over uh, sorry 2 over 3 amp vs2 is just vs1 equals 3 volt so ps2 for this one here this 3 volt like vs2 that we defined is it has this polarity plus minus and the current is exiting from this one so here we don't have positive sign convention and ps2 equals minus is2 
multiply vs2 and that becomes so minus 2 over 3 multiply 3 equals minus 2 what less than 0 supply and that's s2 let's go to let me write over here for s3 we know the voltage across it and we, we know the current across it so i'm gonna directly write it the voltage is 2vx and the current is iy but the current is entering from the negative terminal so we don't have a uh, positive sign convention we have negative sign convention so we need to have that minus sign over there minus 2vx multiply iy so minus 2 over 3 multiply 2 over 3 minus 4 over 9 and uh, uh, what sorry and this this is less than zero so this one is supply angles and for s4 so what do we have we know the current of s4 it's 2 i y but we don't have voltage across it we can find the voltage across it uh, from writing a uh, kvl let me erase this okay we we can write a kvl here and find the voltage across the uh, s4 so if we write let's say we call this vs4 plus minus then we have minus vs4 plus vx that's this voltage over here we enter from positive terminal so that's plus vx plus 3 iy and that's the voltage across this voltage source so this is a voltage source which voltage depends on a, another current so that 3 iy is actually voltage equals zero so we have now what vs4 equals vx which is 1 over 3 plus 3 multiply iy 2 over 3 and that becomes so 7 over 3 volt and ps4 so here the current 2iy entering from the positive terminal so we have positive sign convention and we just need to multiply 2iy which is the current multiply vs4 and that becomes 4 over 3 multiply 7 over 3 and that's 28 over 9 what greater than 0 so this one is absorbing So here I'm going to bring the circuit one more time here. Okay. Now for S5. So which one is S5? S5 is this one. So for S5 we have its voltage is 3IY and current passing through this is just this 2 amp because it's in series with the current source so but the current is exiting from the positive terminal so we have negative sign convention and ps5 equals minus 3 iy multiply uh, that's the voltage multiply current which is 2 amp and that becomes minus 3 multiplied 2 over 3 
multiply 2 and we have minus 4 watt less than 0 that is supply for S6 the last source which is this source over here what we have we know the voltage across it and we know the current passing through it voltage is Vx and the current is 2 amp and current is exiting from positive terminal so again we have negative sign convention PS6 equals minus Vx that's the voltage multiplied by 2 amp that's the current so minus 1 over 3 multiplied 2 minus 2 over 3 watt less than 0 so again supplying so if we add up all this uh, powers the summation should be 0 based on the power uh, conservation energy conservation so let's do that for PS1 what we had PS1 power was 4, amp, 4 watt so let's write it PS1 plus PS2 plus PS3 plus PS4 plus PS5 plus PS6 that equals so PS1 was 4 watt plus PS2 minus 2 watt plus PS3 minus 4 over 9 plus PS4 28 over 9 plus PS5 minus 4 plus PS6 minus 2 over 3 so if we add this ones over here this minus 4 goes with this 4 and let's do common denominator 9 so minus 18 minus 4 plus 28 minus 6 what we got here 0 that shows that the, the solution was actually this converts that the solu uh, this confirms that the solution was correct thank you very much for your attention please leave me comment if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions uh, and also do not forget please to rate the video and also visit my website sold-problems.com thank you